Oh, I wanna show you something really special. And I got this at 3D Printopia last year. And this actually is gonna to lead to something incredible that you've probably never seen before. So to get started first, this tin was given to me by this gentleman by the name of Gabe, Gabe Rosiak. You might know him as Sousaphone, the designer and owner of Lucky 13 Toys and the creator of Dummy 13. Dummy 13 is this posable artist's figure that's completely 3D printed. You, you get the, the frame and then the armor, I believe it is, and then you take the pieces, you put them together, and then you've got yourself an incredible 3D printable, posable thing. It's so fun. I actually posted something over on Twitter the other day and the responses I got of people who have just been printing these Dummy 13s nonstop was incredible to see. And there's a Dummy 13 Facebook group that I get constantly notified about because so many people are printing these amazing things. The one in the tin is called a Mini 13 and there's magnets in the feet, which means you can do things. You can, you can pose, pose this little person like this, or possibly yeah, go like this, and then go, uh, and then go, uh, and then, and then do that. There's just, the, the possibilities are endless. This, this is an artist's sort of posable figure to get uh, the, the, sh the shapes, like forms, so that they can be then 3D printed. And this Mini 13 is just a miniature sized one. There is one that's 100% scale, and I just, I don't have that one yet, but I do wanna show you one that I have printed. There we go. This Dummy 13's at 250% scale. I've got Prusament PLA for the inner parts, and then I've got, I believe it was Printed Solids Elixir. Oh, and it's just been fun, cause like, like you got you got all sorts of hands and heads and arms and you can do all sorts of let's see let's let's get it and then there we go look at that look at oh look at that pose just just brilliant it's beautiful and i love it gabe is a wonderful human and has blessed the world with dummy 13 and we wanted to do something incredibly special with it so let me let me just set these aside Stay. Don't move. Before I show you this though, I think it's time to have a cup of coffee because you know, I'm kind of thirsty. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. These are dummy 13 pieces, 100% in scale, but the black parts are going to be PA 12. The gray parts are 316L stainless steel. Wow. That's right, because of our partnership with PCB Way, they do this incredible job 3D printing things that can be used for industrial purposes. You know, like 316L stainless steel and nylon. And we talked to them about this project. Producer David was in contact and said, I have this idea, what do you guys think of it? And they were pumped. And so they got these all printed and the pieces just look fantastic. Absolutely utterly fantastic. And so now what I have to do is put this together. And to do that, I'm gonna have to follow some instructions because there's a lot of pieces here. And then once I do that, we get to see ourselves the very first 316L stainless steel dummy 13 model. Let's do this. A huge thanks to PCB Way for believing in us and just letting us explore the crazy. They were totally on board for this and I'm so thankful to have them power 3DPN Studios and there's a link down below, just click it, maybe take a screenshot and tag them on social media and just thank them for all allowing us to do crazy, crazy stuff like this. I'm just, I'm so thankful. We're done! We're done and it was insane. I did do things that I expected and I should have, and I should have planned ahead and parts were awesome. And just give me a moment because we really need to chat. Let's chat, shall we? This project was an incredible undertaking. I think the Demi 13 model is just beautiful. It is an 
perfect model. And it's so much fun to put together. And the frustrations that I felt trying to do this just gave me a bad day. <laughs> it gave me a terrible day. I completely spaced on how much give the armor parts and the frame parts have to give. As an example, the toes, I had to, I had to print some toes in ASA on my core one because the metal toes wouldn't snap into the metal feet. And I should have realized that. Like I thought, oh yeah, I'll get a vise. I'll do something. But but man, 316L stainless don't want to give. And I, I should have. Come on. I should have thought of that. And, and another thing is I was barreling through this because I was trying to get it done and I didn't give this model the respect it deserves initially. But sure enough, it came to fruition. And I'm so thankful. Some parts had to be hit with a hammer. I had pliers and things, of course, spare toes, my ultrasonic knife, um, the dummy 13, the mini 13 to kind of keep me pumped and going. I got a coffee that helped. You know, this whole project of getting a dummy 13 and materials that no one had done yet was the brainchild of producer David. And I'm so thankful he came up with it. And, and actually, he's got a few things to say as well. Part of my job here at 3D Printing Nerd is coming up with stories and episode ideas. A lot of that involves research and diving into new materials, new ways of manufacturing, all sorts of different stuff going on with machines and designs and working with real world use cases of how additive manufacturing is being put in place. And so through my research, I found the Dummy 13 project and oh, it just popped off a foot. But that's kind of the fun thing about this thing. It's just absolutely amazing, like putting these together and how intricate the details are for something like this. I wanted to do an episode on these and Joel absolutely loved it. He's got some really fun stuff coming up with it. But I thought like, well, wait a minute. We have this wonderful relationship with PCB Way. They're amazing. And I said, let's get them to do some metal work for us because they've done it before in the past and the results were amazing. But at this level, taking metal and maybe nylon and mixing it together, you get some really neat things. And the cool thing about this is that I'm actually doing it from my Flexi Spot desk, and this is Flexi. I mean, this desk is pretty awesome. It even has a spot for me to put my phone. It'll charge in the middle of it. And because putting these together can be a little tedious, especially when you start doing the smaller ones, you need to kind of sit and get up and sit and get up. And so the desk being able to, you know, go up and down has been really helpful as well. And also it's Flexi and these are Flexi. So I thought that was kind of fun. But it's really interesting to see these models come to life and be able to come up with an idea and then throw it to Joel and have it go inside his brain and come up with, well, what you're seeing here. Pretty neat, right? And just like that, I'm so thankful you made it this far because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and print the Dummy 13 because it's incredible. And as always, high five. Oh, he's tired. <laughs>